Things day. Mr. Speaker, well, let's go through some facts here. What the RCMP have found that the officer, the pri office of the Prime Minister of Canada, secretly engaged in an elaborate strategy to cover up potential fraud and breach of trust and manipulate the findings of the audit of Mike Duffy. And yet the Prime Minister continues to duck and hide. Canadians deserve answers. So will the Prime Minister at least admit what the RCMP have already made clear, that it was his office that organized the cover-up, that it was his key senators who manipulated the audit and that it was his chief of staff who cut the $90,000 check to keep Mike Duffy quiet. Simple question. Very good. Uh, again, Mr. Speaker, uh, that's before the courts so of being appropriate to answer. But let me uh, let me quote uh, let me quote a justice who reviewed our boundaries. Quote: The advice of those at the public hearings, combined with the inappropriate involvement of at least two members of Parliament, both NDP, persuaded the Commission to conclude that the status quo, with a mi few minor changes, was needed. Mr. Speaker, wow. that's about the who member of Parliament for Timmins James Bay, who just asked this Whoa. question. Now he voted wow. against his constituents on a number of occasions, so he was worried that he wouldn't be elected again. So he tried tried to gerrymander his riding wow. to get rid of those people, Mr. Speaker. And he gets up and asks a question about ethics when he broke the biggest rule of all, Thought don't interfere with the court process. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Wow, that the Prime Minister of Canada has to hide behind that man and those pitiful evasions. That's pretty sad, Mr. Speaker, because we're talking about whether or not the Prime Minister of Canada missed led this House and Canadians. He assured Canadians that that audit report was completely independent, That's right. and that I has been proven that. false by the RCMPs. It was his key advisors who told Kakchuk to whitewash issues of potential fraud and breach of trust. The Prime Minister needs to explain himself. Either his key advisors misled him about the cover-up, or the Prime Minister of this country has misled Canadians. Which is it? That's right. Honourable Parliament Secretary. What is sad is this member of parliament interfering with an important, one of the most important processes that happen here. A justice brings that out and, and highlights two members of parliament. Everybody in this place highlights two NDP members of parliament for trying to interfere in a very important process, Mr. Speaker. And the reason why he was trying to do that is because he broke his promise to his constituents, Mr. Speaker, time and time again. So as opposed to apologizing to his constituents, he tried to get rid of them by realigning the boundaries in his favor, Mr. Speaker. Whether it's this member, the 68 others who owe two points. $7 million. They're not the same party that came here in 2011. Have you updated Ramuski Nejet?